guys, it's Erica. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about hair. And I'm going to tell you guys how I grew out my hair to its long length and how I've maintained it and make sure that it grows strong and as quick as possible. So I'm going to share all my helpful hints and tips and I'm going to tell you what I use on my hair. So if you guys are interested and want to keep watching, then do so, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below, and let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with the products I use on my hair, and I use the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo with sea kelp and argan oil for, for dry damaged hair, and this is such a good product. I got this at Walgreens for I think around $8, and I've had it for over four months and I still have the bottle so you really get your value here and it's a really nice shampoo it's free of sulfates and colors and there's a whole list of things that it doesn't include um, just crazy stuff it's vegan it's not tested on animals and it is a great shampoo and as for conditioner I just use its counterpart the raw shea butter restorative conditioner with sea kelp and argan oil for dry and damaged hair as well and using the shampoo and conditioner together really helps you to reap the benefits so I really recommend the Shea Moisture Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. And when I get out of the shower or prior to, I like to detangle my hair just with a wide tooth comb. They say you shouldn't use a brush because it can be very damaging and pull out your hair. So I use a wide tooth comb and it really does the job without damaging your hair. So I love using oils and my favorite oil to use on my hair is the jojoba oil which I believe comes from the coffee bean because it smells like coffee and there's pictures of a coffee bean on the front. But it's super amazing. I use this on my skin and my hair. I use it as a facial moisturizer and I use it on my hair right after I get out. Just, I like just pat my hair dry or whatever and I use this oil and it makes my hair super soft and maintainable. So as for when, I, when so as for when I get out of the shower, I put a t-shirt on my hair because they say using a towel is damaging for your hair. So I just use my sleep shirts and I just do the same exact thing. I like tie it up and it really helps to get it out of my face and dry it at the same time. And after I've used that to dry it a little bit, I use the oil and I'm done. So now going into the tips and tricks, I'm going to start with the most obvious, which is to not use heat on your hair. Um, using heat on your hair will damage and fry your hair, and there are a lot of other alternatives and so many heat-free hairstyle videos, and even how you can straighten your hair without heat, so you really don't need heat to achieve the look you want, and at the same time, you can help your hair breathe and be healthy. And along with that, with what I was speaking about earlier, I recommend using a t-shirt to dry your hair because it's a lot more gentle and it actually absorbs the water a lot better than a fluffy towel. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the main, main, biggest point, component, everything behind growing your hair to be long and strong is to eat well. And I gotta say, ever since becoming vegan, my hair has grown I don't know the exact amount, but at least double the amount it used to grow. So after I became vegan, I noticed my hair started growing a lot faster than it did before, and I cut my hair to about here, probably, in June, and this is like three months of growth, which is insane. So I recommend really looking into your nutrition, and I'm going to tell you the foods you can eat to help your hair grow strong and healthy. So starting off with omega-3s, which hydrate your hair, some good sources are soybeans and walnuts. And the obvious, which is protein, and you think, oh, you're vegan. No protein for you. But um, protein builds hair strength and cell repair and helps your hair to be soft. And some, gor gor some good sources of vegan protein are quinoa, beans, soybeans, which are my favorite, and lentils, which I also love. So that's super easy to get in your diet. And iron and zinc help your hair follicles grow good hair. And some good sources of that are soybeans and lentils. And vitamin D is what activates hair growth in the first place. So if you're not able to go outside for a few minutes a day and absorb your natural vitamin D, then consider taking a supplement and talking to your doctor about how your body can properly absorb it. Biotin is another important thing. I know a lot of people take biotin supplements, but there are a lot of foods with natural biotin in them. 
So some of those are all types of berries, avocados, and almonds, all amazing foods. And they're also in a bunch of other things like almond butter is a good source of biotin because it's made of almonds. So you're really not at a lack of biotin if you just look into it. Also, if you want your hair to stay looking super healthy, I'd recommend getting a trim every six to eight weeks. Obviously, you can see I don't really do that, but I am going to get a haircut tonight, so I'm getting that trim done. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, let me know down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye, guys. Yeah.